horses are on the track. Here are the starters for the first race at the DeCoin State Fair. First half of the Daily Double. Exact a wagering. Win, place, and show. This for trotters. Non-winners of two pair mutual races or $5,000 life. Number one star diamond. Least trained and driven by Kathy Rutherford of LaGrange Park, Illinois. Two is Brookview Jack. Owned by Harold Finn and Harold Finn Jr. of Newton. Trained by Harold. It'll be Randall Finn in the bike. Number three, Super Dan, is owned by David Gibbs of Jackson, Mississippi, trained and driven by Mike Rogers. The four is Princess April, leased and trained by Jack DeRoos of Charleston. His son, Stacy, is in the bike. Five is Bold and Beautiful, owned by Dirk Simpson of Sherman and Sunset Valley Racing Stable of Carrollton, trained by Dirk Simpson. And having just celebrated a birthday yesterday, Camilla Larson is the driver. Belated happy birthday, Camilla. Number six, This Little Light, is owned by Tex Motes, Beth Reaver, Nick Guyberson, and Ann Sundin, trained by Tex Motes. Nick Guyberson will drive. Seven, Cressida Hanover, owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky. Ron Gerfine trains, and Christopher Lakata is in the bike. Number eight, Magic Valkyrie, owned by Flocko Family Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, Illinois, trained by Joel Miller. It'll be Ross Leonard driving. And number nine, Hillbilly's a good one, owned, trained, and driven by David Martin, now of Greenville, Illinois. First half of the Daily Double, only five minutes from post. The track is good. And they're at the post. The gate is rolling for the first half of the Daily Double. Race one at the DeCoin State Fair, an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. Super Dan off stride. Bold and beautiful off stride. The rest are off and trotting. This little light goes out for the early lead, joined by Cressida Hanover. Princess April gets away in third, followed by Magic Valkyrie, Valkyrie heading into the first turn, then Star Diamond. Brookview Jack settles toward the inside, followed by Hillbillies, a good one, as Cressida Hanover is still parked. And Cressida Hanover now moves up to take the lead, going toward the quarter-mile mark. Cressida Hanover by two lengths now. As this little light goes second, Princess April third, Magic Valkyrie is racing in fourth as they move by the red and white quarter pole in 29 seconds flat. A gap of four more lengths back to Star Diamond racing in fifth. Brookview Jack is sixth. Hillbilly's a good one, seventh. A gap of nearly 20 more back to Super Dan and just as large a gap back to the trailer as they head up the back stretch, bold and beautiful, is racing in last. They're being led by Cressida Hanover, who has the lead by nearly three lengths. This little light is second a length and a half to Princess April. Magic Valkyrie, gap of four more to Brookview Jack. Hillbilly's a good one on the outside, is ten lengths off the lead. Star Diamond is next. The half in 58 and three-fifths seconds. Super Dan is off stride once again, and bold and beautiful is still the distant trailer. At the entry to the last turn, Cressida Hanover leads it by three. And this little light is still racing second. Princess April third, then Magic Valkyrie fourth. Hillbilly's a good one is fifth on the outside, six lengths from the front, followed by Brookview Jack approaching the three-quarter mile mark. And Cressida Hanover continues to lead it by two and a half. This little light is racing in second. Off the three quarters in 129 and one. Magic Valkyrie moves up on the outside from third. And Magic Valkyrie now is making a drive at Cressida Hanover off the far turn. This little light is third. Hillbilly's a good one is fourth. Moving by the eighth pole. This little light between horses. Magic Valkyrie far outside. Cressida Hanover toward the rail. Hillbilly's a good one is fourth. Center of the track for Magic Valkyrie. Cressida Hanover is still there. This little light is in between those two. Magic Valkyrie, Cressida Hanover, down to these two at the line. It is a photo finish for the win. Either Magic Valkyrie or Cressida Hanover. We do know that this little light was third. The time was two minutes and three-fifths. With the winner's circle or victory lane located to the inside of the front straightaway near the start-finish line, we do encourage everyone to remember as you journey toward the winner's circle, please be alert at all times of the horses, the tractors, and the water trucks working the track. In the winner's circle for the first race, number eight, Magic Valkyrie, is owned by Flacco Family Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, Illinois, driven to victory by Ross Leonard. Joel Miller trains this three-year-old defiant Yankee filly who scores the first win of her career in two minutes and three-fifths. Ross Leonard, a native of northern Illinois near the Harvard area, third-generation horseman.